just want to take up a few of those precious Monday minutes because I'm coming off a weekend of watching homework movies on the couch with my family, loving on each other. And if you couldn't tell, we joke that our house like puked Christmas. I don't know if you could see the good old Christmas tree back there. We love it. We just love Christmas. We love the energy with Christmas. We love the, just the way it makes us feel spending this quality time together. Yeah, we do it even outside of Christmas, but something is just really special, I think, about this Christmas energy. Something is really special about the belief and the possibility and the way that you feel, I think, around this time of year. At least that's true for me. My eyes and my ears get open to what's going to happen in the following year. And many people wait to make New Year's resolutions. They wait until the post-holiday coma has kind of, you know, worn off. And it's like mid-January into February almost, I think, when people are starting to decide what they want for the year. Now is the time like December, hey Erica, December is the time when I start planning what's going to go on in my life in 2020, whether that's business related, family related. I mean, I was like sending emails trying to book my kids summer camps and they're like, we don't put anything out until March. And I'm like, listen, I'm on it early. I'm a planner. I like to know what I need to do and what I'm getting into and have those little things taken care of. So there is space for that belief and that possibility. And a movie that we watched this past weekend was The Miracle on 34th Street. And it was like a, not the original one, but a newer remake. And it was where the mom, I don't know, I've never seen the original, so maybe it's the same, but the mom doesn't believe in Santa. And Santa kind of looks at her and says, if you don't believe in me, then you don't believe in hope. You don't believe in possibility. And I want you to start thinking about, are you a naysayer? Are you going to be kind of slogging your way into 2020? Or are you going to start taking action now? This morning, I got up, I journaled. January, February, March, like the entire month or the entire year, every month, I know where I'm going, what I'm doing, what the plan I have in place. And for my business, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm kind of alternating months of this online, offline kind of flip. Oh my God, you see the cat? Can you hear that squeaking? You find like, why is that noise? So I must, I must show you. Oh, yep, see the cat? We got this, Christmas came early for the cat. So that is the squeaking that you're hearing. So if you're, I should note to self next time I do live video, put that a little bit up higher so that the cats can't get it. So anyway, I digress. So the online, offline flip, what do I mean by that? You're gonna hear people that say, okay, I'm gonna, put this up. I'm gonna walk and talk to you at the same time because Kitty's gonna drive us crazy. You're going to, okay, I'll put it back. Don't worry, Kitty. You're going to hear people say that the only way to do business is online. That's not the case. I've found that referral businesses, oh, look, the other cat came up to see what is going on. I think this is a video about my cats instead of a video about offline online business. So what I found is that getting out and people seeing your face, seeing you in the flesh, getting a feel for you, yeah, you can do that online, but a really quick way to build a connection with people is face-to-face. -face. And I've gotten some of the best clients, best referrals from getting out of my little bubble and getting in front of people. Now, online serves its purpose for people that are all over the world. There's no cap, there's no geographical cap or no space and time cap of the amount of people that I can help. So one month I'm focusing on all my online efforts and then the next month, while that's ticking along, I'm focusing on getting out there and getting visible and getting in front of people. And again, oh my God, the darn thing down. And again, can you hear that? Oh my gosh, sorry if you're hearing this crazy mouse. So I wrote down all of the ways that I'm online. Podcast, blog, 
engagement posts on social media, live on social media, YouTube show, weekly newsletter, Skillshare, posting videos on this platform where I basically get paid for the people that watch the video, and then running targeted Facebook ads, which is what we do with our company. Those are all the online ways that I'm, I'm showing up for people. Offline, workshops, speaking engagements, some paid, some free. I used to do all free when I was first getting myself out there. Now I limited to three a year for causes or people or things that I'm really passionate about that I'll speak for free if they really truly have no budget, but I feel called to speak there. Going to meetups, going to masterminds, and going to conferences. Now again, you're probably going, how the heck do you do all of that? I didn't try to do all of this all at once. I layered it kind of like a cake. I just started with one online and one offline. I just started with Facebook actually is where I started. And then I started hosting my own meetups and speaking, right? And then all the stuff came later. So I want to challenge you in 2020 to start looking at whether it's, let's say it's not business. Let's say it's personal. You're like, one month, I'm going to go deep with my family. You should always be going deep with your family. But then maybe the next month, you're like, I got to get out with my girlfriends. I need to get out of the house. I need to get out with people. I need to have friends. I need to have hobbies, right? Maybe one month, you're doing your hobby. The next month, you're going with friends. The next month, you're going on a family vacation. The next month, you're going back to a hobby. In business, offline, online. Offline, online. And you're really always kind of testing what works. So I want to challenge you out of all of those that I gave you, what is one online marketing piece that you're going to consistently work for all of 2020? And what is one offline marketing piece that you're going to consistently work for 2020? Start to plan that now so that when January hits, you're already taking action. You're already going. So I hope that serves you. I hope that helps. It's what's really helped me grow to 10K months and really have a sustainable income, a sustainable business, something that I feel really good about kind of was the culmination of all this work coming together. And that's what I wanted to share with you is this is what I did. And then I started to see what was working, I kept doing. And what wasn't working, I took away. But I had to give myself that year-long period to truly go, yeah, it works, yeah, it doesn't work. I think too many times we bail early. We do something for a month and we go, oh, that doesn't work. You haven't even figured it out yet. So give yourself that year, plan now, commit, and hit the ground running. So enjoy this juicy, glorious, lovely Christmas spirit. Um, that is all around us. Just soak it up and soak it in and know that I think you're fabulous and, and thank you for tuning in. I'm so glad that you're here. If you need more help or you want to know how to get my podcast, my blog, my newsletter, all that good stuff, head to www.lisapizik.com and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.